Hello and welcome back to Clear Software Your Tutorial. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about editing layouts and creating new layouts for our ClearSoft database. So let's go and get started. We're going to go ahead and browse over to the Edit Layout. And once we're into this picture, uh, you'll notice that we already have uh, several different layouts that are included in the ClearSoft. For example, we have Bytewing, uh, where I'll tell you the order number. And we have FMX, single images. And if we wanted to make more images, all we simply have to do is click on the new button. Uh, once we click on the new button, you'll notice that it's just a blank screen. But on the right side, you'll notice that we have all these different placeholders. Uh, this one right here is a size one placeholder. We can go and put that there. And we can actually even make it larger than normal. So I keep hitting the enlargement button. We can make a single x-ray image very large. Uh, we could do the same with the size 2 sensor. Now, it's very important that if you're using a size 1 sensor, uh, you need to use a size 1 placeholder. If you use a size 2 placeholder for a size 1 sensor, uh, the image simply won't capture. Uh, we can go down and add a panoramic placeholder. So if you're using a digital pan, we can include a pan image. Uh, if you're using an intraoral camera, we can add our own intraoral images. If you wanted to <coughs> add an import, now this is also important. Uh, if you wanted to, for some reason, import existing images onto your CleoSoft um, placeholders, you can't use just any placeholder. You have to use an import placeholder, this one. So let's go ahead and clear all this. I'm going to go ahead and hit back. I'm not going to save it. And I'm going to show you. So for example, if I hit the Add Import, I can create my own Byte Wing series. And if I were to, if I want to save this, go ahead and save it. It's going to first, if I hit save, it's going to ask me to enter a layout name. So I'm going to go ahead and set a layout name. I'm going to call this my import byte. And you'll notice that it's saved onto the top left hand side. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now if I go ahead and hit the import option right here, you're going to notice that I've created my own layout. These are some of the single ones that we have. Now if I choose this, I can actually double click this and choose an image that I already have. For example, I saved some images onto my desktop. and I'm going to go ahead and hit that. It's going to automatically put this image into my layout. Again, I could go ahead and move another one. And you can go on and on. Uh, remember that you cannot import just any picture into your placeholder. It has to be an import placeholder. So let's go ahead and get back to Edit Layout. And we're going to go continue on with our new. We can create uh, different combinations. For example, I can take a size 1 sensor image placeholder and put it alongside an intraoral camera uh, placeholder, and therefore we can do like comparison shots. For example, I can take a, a intraoral camera image and then take a sensory image and show them the difference between the camera and uh, using an X-ray. Uh, if we're using different X-ray sensors, for example, if you do not use a Clio sensor and you use a Schick or a Kodak or a DEXA sensor. Uh, you can't use our normal um, intro placeholders. All these placeholders that we have 
defaulted on the Clio soft only allow you to use the Clio sensors. If you're using different sensors, you would have to create your own layout using this right here, which is an X-ray, uh, a twain X-ray placeholder. Uh, once you can create bite wings, for example, let's go ahead and create a bite wing. Okay, so we got four images. And once I have these placeholders set, I can set the teeth number. For example, this is going to be Okay, so now I have my tooth order on my bite wing, and then I can also set the order sequence in which these images are going to take. So if I were to use, um, you know, an automatic feature, so I set I order one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to go ahead and, okay, that's good. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and name this my twain bite wing and save it. Once it's saved, I can go back in here. I see that my twain bite wing is right here. And I have the auto feature, or if I were to hit auto, it's going to automatically choose it. Now, I don't have a twain source, so it's not going to actually take the image, but that's just another way we can set it up. Uh, let's go ahead and get back to our edit layout and new layout. We can go ahead and put scanner if you wanted to uh, use a digital scanner to add images into your CleoSoft, you would have to use this uh, right here. It's called uh, Import Twain Placeholder. What that is is a Twain sensor, uh, not sensor, I'm sorry, scanner. Uh, you would create you know, any kind of layout you wanted with this, and then you can save it, and now you can actually use your digital scanner to put images into your CleoSoft. So that concludes our edit layout video. Uh, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us. Thank you very much. Bye.